This 26 Sports High School Basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Welcome back to the Cadillac Gymnasium. Morris Langworthy, along with Bill Dooley, bringing you the action on a Friday night. Cadillac Vikings and the Traverse City West Titans are battling it out. It's a close game, 26-21. Vikings are up as we start the fourth quarter. But you know, Bill, I'll tell you what, it's still too close to call. You know, both teams have seesawed back and forth with regards to dominating any one period. I'm going to give the last period to uh, the Titans. I think they dominated dominated that uh, period, but gave it back in, in form of fouls. You know, the, the, the Vikings scored at least three points that I can recall at the foul line, where the Titans scored them all on the court. And the Titans start the fourth with a steal, a turnover. Coming in is Sarah Seavers. And she's going to draw the block foul on Liz Pyle. So Seavers, holding her side a little bit, will go to the charity stripe. She will try and pull her team within four if she makes these two. Or, excuse me, within three if she makes two. You know, oh, wait, no, no shooting. Okay. It really looked like Liz had her feet planted, you know? Right. But why is... Okay, that she was in the... She was shooting the ball, and they didn't give her a, a free throw in that. Isn't that funny? Well, no, she wasn't shooting the ball. Um, that was that was she she followed her on the drive. Here's a steal by Traverse City, but they and can't they keep it in. Onto it. Nope. But they're putting some full court pressure on right now. Well, they have to. They've got they've got to overcome a five point disadvantage right out of the gate. And the Vikings are not going to go silently into the night. Alexis Little, double team. Nice job getting up to Hope Emmington. Emmington over to Johns. Into Christensen. Puts a shot up, and she's got a lot of contact from Savoy. And Savoy with at least her second foul, maybe third. We'll have to see here. Kylie's done very good at the line tonight. That's her third. Christensen at the line for the Vikes. Nice looking shot. The Solid. Vikings have really done a good job at the line tonight. They really have. And it's the Abby, one thing that's really hurt the Titans is, yeah. is bringing the, the Vikings to the line. And Abby Moyes, this is her first time in the game. Christensen makes two. That's not the first time we've seen her do that tonight either. No, number 34, Abby Moyes is in the game. Look at that hook shot there. Nice rebound by Grace Warren. Moyes has got some height on her, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Morris. She's 6'3". And she put a little too much juice on that last one. <laughs> she fights hard. She gets a, a tie up on it. Possession arrow goes to the Titans. So Sierra Perquette. We'll bring it in. Perquette to Warren. Driswicki. Off the hands, and it's going to be Cadillac Ball. Getting ready to check in for the Vikings is going to be Brooke Cunningham, her first time tonight. And also, uh, Matson is back into the game, McKenna Matson. A lot of pressure here. Long throw yeah. down to Christensen. Christensen puts it up on a good hesitation move, and it falls. Great pass, great drive, great layup, and scored. Christensen is really pouring it on here in the second half. Thirty to twenty-one, a nine-point lead for the Vikes, and there's a tripping call on Brooke Cunningham. That is the fifth team foul. So Grace Warren for the Titans. Triggers the inbound pass. Getting it in to Moyes. Almost taken away by Alexis, Alexis Little. Alexis had her hand on it. Perquette. Into Seavers. Seavers goes right at the hoop and 
Nice rebound and a quick outlet by Christensen. Good pass to Cunningham. She finds herself underneath the net, won't go. Little off her hands, it'll be Traverse City ball. Boy, I'll tell you, Bill. Um, both teams have not tightened up the way that we would expect it. Um, going into this last quarter, real low scoring, and we haven't really seen much action from either side. Titans are beginning to tire out. There's another steal for the Vikings and then tipped out of bounds, it'll stay. Wait a minute. Oh, they're gonna give it to Traverse City. So Traverse City, Grace Warren, let's see, out of the game will be Kylie Christensen. Liz Piles is back in. Timeout for Rebecca Key. Well, I'll tell you City. what, both teams are starting to show a little wear, aren't they? Yeah, especially Kalek with the short bench with you only bet. eight people. We want to mention tonight our, our awesome uh, crew. Hannah Crouch, who's our director. We have Wyatt Van Dynen, who's on the south camera down on the floor. We have Leanna Carr, who is working the north camera. And then Rain Johnson Hill, he's upstairs with us on the uh, upper camera. So hearing a lot of good things, Morris, from around northern Michigan. And uh, hopefully next year we will have some more sponsors. And now that we've mentioned that, if anybody is interested in being a sponsor, get a hold of the uh, office, uh, My News 26. And uh, they'll set you up. Hopefully uh, we'll, we'll have a lot more uh, sponsors for next year. You bet. Our sponsors for tonight's game are Kayla Casting and also Pizza Plus. Thank you very much. Well, we got 5.32 left on the clock in, the, in this last period. Vikings have a nine point advantage, 30 to 21 over the uh, Traverse City uh, Titans. Titans are gonna have to really put some pressure on the Vikings, see if they can eat into this lead. It's a nine point lead. Well, they're really gonna have to pick up the pace too because uh, Vikings have, have been able to match, match them step for step and pass for pass in this fourth period. Good knock away there by Liz Piles. Vikings are just not giving them any breathing room. No. Grace Warren is gonna inbound it for Traverse City. Sierra Perquet has the ball, number 15. She looked for the back door there. Gets it over to McKenna Matson. They're having trouble just getting it into they are. the paint area. Now if the Titans, the Titans, who they've taken 45 seconds on this drive so far. If they continue to move at this pace, th this game is gonna be over before they get a chance to, to put four or five more points on the board. Liz Piles picks up her second foul. That is the sixth team foul. One more will put them. There's a nice steal great, by Liz great Piles. Great steal by Piles. Quick hands. Yep. Michaela Johns up over half court. She'll get it to Little. Liz Piles was calling for that ball down low. Hope Emmington. Emmington looking for Johns. Liz Piles was open just for a second. Little all the way to the hoop, won't go. Rebounded by Traverse City. Nice little bump by a little, but couldn't take advantage of it. Yep. Now Drizwicki over to Matson. Matson to Warren. Fourth period is half over. Another turnover for Traverse City. They may have to start fouling here pretty soon. Yeah. Double team does not do anything against Hope Emmington as she, her quickness just, just breaks that well, up. She's quick and she's she's short, so she keeps it a lot lower. Harder yeah. to steal. Yeah, forcing that shot up was Michaela Johns and they're gonna call a jump ball. Into the game for Traverse City is 
Sarah Perquette. And the Vikings, Alexis Little, will inbound to Hope Emmington. Emmington with a triple attempt. Three point, yep, falls short. Great effort by Liz Piles, but it hits the back of the backboard, so it'll be Traverse City ball. Mm -hmm. And they've got three and a half to try and come up with a nine point deficit. They've literally squandered away the last two minutes. There's been no score by either team. And it's not Cadillac that needs to worry about uh, putting more back on the board. Long pass into Grace Warren. Back out to Percat with the triple attempt. Nice rebound by Savoy. She's fouled. Give her two shots at the line, Marie Savoy. And that's Piles third. At this point, I don't think anybody is in imminent uh, foul trouble for either team. There's no. a lot of players with three and four. Yep. Savoy makes her first. Who do we got coming in, Morris, for Cadillac? We've got um, number 24, Nicole Kleinsorg, and number 34, um, uh, Kylie Christensen. Savoy with the second one, makes. Good job by Marie Savoy. Under pressure, she needed those two. She did. Still a seven point lead by the Vikings. Here's a steal by Traverse City. Oh, right through the legs and the Vikings will get it back. A bad break there it for was. Traverse City. And uh, Coach out. Johns will yep. call a timeout. She didn't quite like what she saw there. So the Vikings with a 30 to 23 lead here with um, exactly three minutes left on the clock. Three minutes to go in the game. This game will be aired tonight at 10:30, an hour after the game, and but most importantly on Sunday at 11 a.m. Uh, this game will air, and people from all over can watch watch it. I know that there's some uh, some uh, grandparents in Gaylord that will be watching tonight. Nicole's grandparents. So that'll be exciting for them. You know, at the beginning of this, we, we gave the uh, Cadillac Vikings a slight advantage over the Titans based on the uh, previous performance that they had up in Traverse City and also um, home board advantage. What a way to end parents' night here in Cadillac. Like we said earlier, if Cadillac can win tonight and then win their last game they can go eight and four in the big north and uh, that's that's a solid season in the big north you know that's um that's respectable considering they've only got um eight on the bench and one senior that's uh that's very admirable so the vikings will inbound it right in front of the titan bench three minutes to go back to alexis little Little gets it over half court, over to Emmington. Emmington, Vikings are gonna just wanna play a little keep away. Klein Sorge over to Little. We're gonna see at what point Traverse City will wanna foul. It's gonna be Cadillac ball. Alexis Little for the Vikings. Vikings have maintained the seven point lead throughout the uh, last period. Vikings doing a good job with the ball movement. Emmington holding on to it. We're down to 2.24 to go here in the game. Titans just don't seem to be showing the desire to, to really pick it back up. Well, I'm kind of surprised they're not putting the Vikings at the line. Right. I mean, that's really, there's a reach in on Driswicki. So the Vikings, that's, uh, they should be going to the line here. Coach Johns over there is telling, telling her girls they need to spread out. They, they're, they're all too close together. Rebecca 
Uh, McKee will call a timeout for Traverse City. Traverse City is in a district pairings with uh, Petoskey, Gaylord, TC Central, and Marquette. Marquette is having a very good year, and they will be the favorite in that district. Uh, TC Central is having a good year, too, in the Big North, so uh, should be some good basketball there. And then Cadillac is in the districts with Kingsley, Ludington, and Manistee, so really good talent yeah. also in that bracket. Thank you uh, a lot tonight to uh, Mr. Mike Filkins and the Calic High School Band. They've been doing a great job. All right. Getting ready for the last two minutes of the game. I'll tell you what, as, uh, as the Titans come back out on the court, they're really not picking up their feet much, are they? I'll tell you what, both teams have played a great game tonight. It's been an exciting, fun game to watch. They're but, definitely uh, leaving it all out on the floor, that's yep. for sure. I'll tell you what, they've definitely used it up in the first three periods. Hope Emmington is going to shoot one and one from the line. That one's just a little bit off, so Traverse City with a uh, seven point deficit. They need a maybe a triple here to get them fired up, get them back into it. Drizwicki over on the right side, Perquet. And there's a reach in against Nicole Kleinsorge and I know that the uh, coach Johns doesn't want a foul to stop the clock. Right, you know I'll tell you what. Um, but it's good to see the Vikings still on the defensive. Good, strong defense here. They're not going to give this away in the last two minutes of the game. But you absolutely don't want to put them at the line that stops the clock in. True. They can get two points here, so they'll, they'll probably. There's the first shot as a make. That is Sarah Seavers. Sarah is a 5'9 junior. Sarah does not get the second one to fall. But she so closes the gap to uh, six. Yep. And we've got. Uh, now they're going to foul. Yep. We've got a minute and 37 seconds left in the game. And the Titans are three field goals short of um, tying this baby up. So this is where all those days of practice in the gym and yep. in the driveway, uh, making your free throws. Vikings have done a really nice job tonight they shooting have. a high percentage of Especially their free throws. Especially Kelly Christensen. Hope doesn't get that one. Nice rebound and a oh stick back gosh. by Christensen. I think that was the proverbial nail in the coffin right there. That does hurt big time. Mm -hmm. with, um, with a minute and 25 seconds left on the clock, it's going to be hard to... Uh, bring eight points back on the on the board for the uh, Titans. And if you're a like you just want to let them shoot, let them pass yep. it around. Jerzwicki loses it. Alexis Little has it. Over to Michaela Johns. Are they'll foul her? Not yet. And there's a foul right before they took the ball away. Michaela had to get rid of that ball. Drzwecki with her second. And Michaela Johns will go to the line. I want to thank Terry Dooley tonight for being our statistician, so that'll help us out in our post-game show, which will be coming Terry up Terry Dooley, right who's that? Yes, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Best looking statistician I know. You know, I wouldn't expect you to say anything but. All right, Nicole Kleinsorge. Getting a big hug from her coach, big round of applause from the people here in Cadillac. And uh, she's got some more games to play, but this is the last regular season home game. That's very emotional. You bet. Rebounded nicely by the Titans. Here's the three on two. Picked up 
They're looking for a three. I know they're yelling for her to shoot a three. They are. Grace Warren was thinking about it. Perquette on you know, the perimeter. This doesn't do the Titans any good passing the ball around. They've got to put it. They've got to put it to the net. McKenna Matson will check in for the Titans. McKenna, 38.2 seconds left in the game. Eight point lead by the Vikings. Vikings just have to protect the ball. That's all they've got to do. Long pass down to Alexis Little. She's got an uncontested layup. Up and in. Puts nice job. 34-24, 10 point lead now for the Vikes. You know, just let the Titans do what they do best, and that's just dribble the ball around. They're not taking the shots. Look at this. They um they have every opportunity to put the ball in the air. And there's a shot off the backboard. Nice job there. Yep. Seavers with the bucket. Vikings turn it over. That's okay. Let them turn it over. This this game is over, Bill. There's a long shot by Madsen. And the Vikings, the Vikings with a good overall showing, they will go to seven and four in the Big North. The final score is the Cali Vikings 34 and the TC Titans 26. And uh, Morris, we'll be back in just a moment with our post-game wrap-up. You are watching Girls Basketball on My News 26 Sports.